What's up guys, Fedor here from 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. Getting a lot of questions about stepper drivers, their voltages, and stepper motors being potentially too hot. Some people are saying that their stock Vox Lab Aquilos are getting so hot on the stepper motors that they can't hold them with their hand. Now, there's a bit of a misconception about that temperature. Stepper motors are uh, capable of running at a really high temperature, some all the way up to 120 degrees Celsius, so that might be okay. I think there's a, a reason to be worried if you're getting skipped steps constantly or maybe even uh, a whole axis is turning off uh, during a print, something along those lines. Uh, I do uh, think the Vox Lab turned up the voltages to a certain point uh, to get right up to that uh, max temperature running um, running temperature of these motors just to get the best possible print quality which it does provide which is nice so unless you're having those problems this might not be a concern however if you are concerned you're, you can definitely open it up and check the stepper drivers because they're adjustable which is really nice so what I want to do today is I have a temperature gun and a multimeter uh, we have a print running right now and it's been running for uh, looks like around 30 minutes now so I want to check the temperatures uh, and note and take a note uh, then uh, cancel the print we're gonna lay this thing on its side I'm gonna get to the motherboard and we're gonna check the voltages that I have on here stock we're gonna turn them down to about 0.9 if they're too high then I'm gonna start the same print give it some time to warm up and we're gonna take some temperatures again and see what the difference is is it worth doing uh, basically the reason why I'm saying that is because sometimes when you go too low you could get skipped steps because the motors aren't getting enough power sometimes you can get a, uh, a, a shell effect uh, in your uh, print in the skin uh, you can see some start to see some artifacts because the motor doesn't have enough power and that might be why they've turned the uh, voltages up a little bit higher than some other printers so that's what I want to know today that's what we're gonna check out let's get a better angle and let's get it started All right, so let's get some temperature readings with the gun. Let's do the extruder first. On the extruder, I'm getting a 41.7. I can totally hold my hand on that one. Let's do the X, 45, so a little bit hotter there. Yeah, definitely feels a little warmer, but I can totally hold my hand on that. All right, let's come over here. I might be in the way for this one, but let's check the Z. 44.7 that's totally fine and the Y yeah the Y is hot 57.6 so still well below 100 or even 80 uh, that's really hot really really hot um, and actually funny enough the little sticker that says uh, warning uh, this is high temperatures is actually peeling up from the heat so that's kind of funny um, yeah, so I can see why people would be concerned about that. That is really hot to touch. Um, it is mounted on plastic, but the plastic feels fine. I can actually hold my hand directly on that plastic. Um, so yeah, the stepper is hot to the touch. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it. There's absolutely no printing issues with the machine. Um, but let's go ahead and check the voltages uh, set to all of these. So let's go ahead and flip this thing over and check those. All right, so I have my multimeter set up here. I have my Phillips screwdriver, which is what you're gonna to need to make some adjustments. I have my two terminals here. So what I do wanna mention is that be really careful prodding around in here. You only want to touch the things that I go over here. If you touch something else, you have a chance of shorting something on your motherboard. So be really, really careful when you're doing this. Now, with that said, uh, what you're seeing here is these four heat sinks are your stepper motor drivers and directly above and to the left of each one there is a Phillips uh, screw that is a pot that controls uh, the voltage and you can adjust it um, to uh, lower and raise your voltages now to, to read them you want to take your negative and put it on the negative of uh, your uh, power outlet there uh, that's going into the motherboard from your power supply and then the positive you want to go ahead and put it right in the middle of that pot of that adjuster and it looks like my extruder is set to 1.4 my Z is set to 1.18 my Y which was the hottest for me set to 1.11 and 
and let me get in here to the X. The X is set to 1.2. 1, 1 okay, so it looks like the extruder is set higher than the rest, which is totally normal, by the way. Um, and it was the coolest one out of all of them. And the rest are set to somewhere around 1.18. Going in, uh, back around to check. 1.12. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust each one of these to around 0 0.9. I'm actually going to uh, leave the extruder the way it is because that was the coolest one for me. Um, so that wasn't really a problem uh, on the voltage. And the only one that really was, was the Y, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn, turn all of them down to 0.9. All right, so to make the adjustment, you actually need to grow another hand. Uh, but if you can't do that in time, um, here's how I like to do it. I like to really carefully put my screwdriver on the pot, put the plus on the screwdriver while holding the minus to get the reading. And then with one hand, I like to turn the pot down to, to adjust it. So there you go, you see it going down. I'm gonna keep going to around 0.9. Let's go to 0.95 and leave it there. All right, right around here, 9.5. I mean 0.95, let's leave it there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the rest uh, to around there somewhere. Uh, we'll put this thing back up and uh, I'll start another print and I'll see you there. All right guys, so we've uh, changed the uh, Voltages on the stepper drivers to around 0.95. Uh, I double checked them off camera just to make sure. I did not touch the extruder because the extruder was not only cold to the touch, but there's no issues there. So I didn't want to mess with it, but it's been printing for another 20 or so minutes. Uh, so let's go ahead and check the temps. Let's do the Y because that was the problematic one. So definitely cooler, 49.5. Let's do the touch test. I mean, it's hot, but I can definitely hold my hand on here. Let's check the rest. The X is 35.9. And the Z, 36.8. So I think they're all just a hair cooler. Uh, the main one that was hot is this, and yeah, I'm holding my hand on it now. I'm getting a uh, 50.7 max on this one back here. All right, so let's go to the conclusion. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, turning down the voltages uh, did have a positive outcome on the motors themselves. Mine are now just a hair cooler, and my Y is cold enough to hold my hand on, whereas before I would burn my fingers for sure. So not that it was a, a, any kind of problem, it was still well within its limits uh, and the print quality was still really nice, but I know for some people this is a major issue, so at least now you know what to do uh, to resolve the issue. I do wanna say one more time, definitely be careful when you're working down there in the motherboard, especially when it's on with metal, you can very easily short something and ruin your printer. So take your time and do it right. Uh, you can also go ahead and purchase a uh, plastic screwdriver for these things so that you have less of a chance of messing something up. Uh, but it is pretty straightforward, so have no fear. Uh, there you go, guys. If you know somebody who this video could help, send them a link and throw me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Also, I'll include links to a bunch of things you saw in this video uh, in the description below. Also, to the Discord channel. Uh, join like-minded people, share your prints, uh, troubleshoot your printer in case you need help. Uh, there's people there helping out everyone else, which is really awesome. All right, guys, hopefully I helped in some way, shape, or form. And as always, I'll see you in the comments. Later.